this video, we'll take a look at line codes. We'll discuss what they are and how they are used. Then, we'll see how to create them and move into how we get our parts inventory into Manage Online. We'll start by going to Setup. Then, we click on Codes. Then, Line Codes. You can use line codes to set up a specific code that can represent groups or categories of parts, such as brakes, electrical, or fluids, or brands such as Bendix, Sylvania, or Prestone. These codes are used to help you better classify your inventory. Several line codes have been created for you. You can edit or delete these if you wish. If you want to use a different default line code, create it or edit an existing one by clicking the Edit icon and checking this box. Creating a line code is as easy as entering a code, which can be up to three alphanumeric characters, such as BDX for Bendix or BRK to designate all brake parts. Then a description. Click Update to save your changes. If you have a file with your inventory in it, you may be able to import it directly into Manage Online. To do this, go to Parts Inventory Import. Follow the instructions on this page to upload your file. Be sure your file is formatted exactly as the instructions state or the upload won't work. You can also enter parts manually. To do this, go to Parts. Start by entering the part number. You can enter one of the line codes you created or leave this field blank and Manage Online will assign the default line code you selected in Setup. Enter the part description and select the supplier you get this part from in this drop down list. Enter the supplier part number if it's different from the one you entered above. When you enter the cost, Manage Online will calculate the selling price based on the settings you chose in the pricing section. If you selected Apply Markups to My Prices and created a price matrix for the vendor you chose or you entered a default markup, that will be reflected here. This price will override anything you enter in the Selling Price field. If you do not have a markup percentage set for the vendor, then the selling price will be applied to the ticket. The product tax type should be the default code set earlier. Typically, this would be parts. You can choose the sales class code for this part if you desire, or you can leave it blank and Manage Online will assign the default code. If this is a part you keep in stock, put a check here. Checking the Quick Parts or Fluids box will add them to the Quick Parts selection menu that makes it easy to add frequently used parts to the repair order. These parts can be anything you have in your parts list, but they are typically commodity items such as clamps, filters, brake fluid, etc. Refer back to your selections in the pricing setup. If you chose to not apply a markup to Quick Parts and Fluids, you'll need to enter a selling price. Unit of issue is how you sell the part or fluid, for example, by the ounce, quart, gallon, or each. Box quantity is the number of each of the units you purchase. You can look at this a couple of ways. For instance, if you buy a case of antifreeze that contains six gallons and you charge based on the number of bottles sold, your unit of issue would be one and the box quantity would be six. Likewise, if you buy motor oil in bulk, say your tank holds 100 gallons and you charge by the actual amount dispensed. Since we would want to keep track of how many quarts we have in our tank, the unit of issue would be 1 and the box quantity would be 400. All of this is used to help keep track of the quantity on hand to be able to charge for the correct amount and control shrinkage. Free stock is the quantity on hand. Min and max stocking levels are very useful in maintaining the correct quantities on hand. Manage Online will give you a visual indicator when you add a part to a ticket, which will let you know if you have plenty on hand, are below your minimum stocking level, or are out of stock of items in your inventory. It also makes it quick and easy to order parts directly from within Manage Online. That process is shown in another video. Don't forget to click Save to save your changes.